Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen, which is this figure here. Now, when you are about to create or reproduce a figure, you try and get the entire length of that figure and you get the entire height of that figure. Then you start acting like a sculptor. You start carving the shapes out, right? So the entire length of this figure is 95 from the beginning to, of this point to here 95. Right, so I'll first of all do that of my length. So, this is I'll draw a point line this way, and I'll pick a point, let's say this point, and I am going to measure 95. So, from zero here, right, from zero here, I'll measure 95 here. This is what we have here. This is the first point, and this is the next point. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is the entire height. So, what I can see here, my entire height is what? It's 60. Is that taking? I'll measure 60. First of all, take my C square and T square, placing it this way. Then, from this point here, I'm going to just project this upward. You can see that? Then I'll come here also. I'm going to project this upward. You see that? Now the next thing we'll do is measuring the 60 that I said. So you measure the 60 from this point upward. This is 60. All good. Then I'll connect those two points together. Now, both are the shape out. Now, the next thing is you start from the inside out or from the outside in, depending on you. Now, if you look at this point here, this is what we call a fillet, right? This arc here is what we call a fillet. You know, whenever you create a material and it is pointed, you need to file it, right? So, this will call what a fillet. And the fillet here is ha it has the radius of what? 15. So what will I do? I'm going to take my compass and I'll place it on my meter rule this way and I'll measure the radius of what? 15. This is 15 here. You can see that? Now I'll come at the point at which those two lines intersect and I'll place my compass at that point. Then I'll strike the horizontal line and I'll also what? I'll strike the vertical line. So with the same radius, I'll place it on the point that I strike the vertical line here. I will draw an arc. With the same radius, I'll place it at this point also. I'll also draw what? An arc. All good? This way. So this is where they meet. So with that same radius, without shaking it, I'll place it at this point here where they intersect. Right? And I'm going to draw an arc this way. Going to draw an arc this way. You can see that. So we successfully put out the radius of 15. Now the next thing we're going to do is telling us that there's this um cut here. So the cut, the height of the cut is um five, then the depth of it is eight. So what I'll do is I'll first of all measure 11 downward first from here. I'll measure 11 downward from here first. So from zero here to this point here is 11. You can see that? So from that point 11, I'll draw a line inward this way. Faint line first. Then from here, I'll now measure another 5 again from that 11. So from this point, I'll measure another 5 again. Downward. So come here. I'll measure 5. is 0. And this 5 here. Then I'll take it inward this way. So if you notice it, 
there's a thickness here from here to here which is measured to be what eight so i'm going to measure it so this is my eight here it is zero to this point here is eight so this is our mark so i can just easily thicken it since i know it is thickened right and i'm going to close it up this way close it up to this way just like it is displayed on the top right corner of the screen then close it up to this way that again now we look at our diagram closely after we've taken out this point from here to this point here is taken so from here to here is surely from here to here so i'm going to what taking it to stop here you can see that now the next thing is here also there's another fillet here which is what radius of seven so i'll take my meter rule just like i did earlier i'll measure seven this time so from zero to this point is seven right and i'll place it at where the vertical and the horizontal line meet this way and i'll mark to the left to the top and to the horizontal also so the same radius i'll place at where it strike the vertical i'll strike an arc i'll place to where it strike the horizontal right also strike an arc so where they meet i'll just place my compass there where they meet with the same radius this way and i will place it at that point so you place it very well and take it to that point then you strike your arc to touch both of them this way strike your arc to touch both of them so when you do that you have in this right so if you check your diagram very well you connect here to this point now connect it so you can use your rule or you can just use your first square and you connect on this point straight down to this point here right so So we are there now if you look closely again you discover that um from this point this side also is also chamfered it's also filled we call it fillet with radius of what three millimeter it's so small well, let's see you measure your three millimeter here on your meter rule all right so let's say this is three so you place it at this point right you strike towards the top right here you see that where it meets here you strike an arc and when it meets here you also strike another arc so where both of them meet this is at that point and you do your fillet here So something like that now you connect it with your pencil from this point to this point you see that just like what the diagram suggests so you connect here to this point also <coughs> okay to this point Like that so we successfully drawn the external part of it now it is the internal part now it's telling me that if i move from the horizontal 
this is 14 plus 25 that will be 39 right so let's move there first I'll move 39 upward it is 30 39 I see that then I'll draw a line let me call it a center line this way you can see that so I moved 39 and if I moved from here to this next point we want to get to this point here so it's telling me that if I move 32 hmm, if I move 32 to this point if I move 32 let's draw the 32 from the from this point to this point to move 32 this is 32 here All right I will draw a vertical line that will be another vertical line here let me just draw a center line here long short long short and on again so where they meet that is where my circle will be placed so this is the center of the circle so to get center of the circle you need to move 39 up I need to move 32 down for you to get the center of the circle. And what is the radius of the circle? It is 13 since the diameter is 26. So this symbol here is symbol for diameter. So we are using radius of 13. Now I'm going to measure the radius of 13. 0 to 13 here. Right. And I'll place at this point where I'm going to draw my circle. I'm going to draw my circle, so I'll just draw the circle this way. Right here. So I'll draw it to this point. There's a circle there. There is a word 13. Now the next one. We move the other circle just 14 up this line. And the radius is what? Is 4 since the diameter is 8. So 14 up this line. So I'm going to use my meter rule from this point here, which is this point here, I measure 14 upward. So if I'm measuring 14 upward, starting from 0. This will be 10, this will be 14 here. This is where my other center will be. So let me just mark the center line there. So this is the center line here. This is the center line. So where they meet will be another circle of radius what? Radius 4. So the diameter is 8, so I made 4. So this is here I'll place it here I'm going to draw my circle at this point it's so small but I have to draw it that way so I'll be having this so you just draw that This is what we have there so small so the next thing you do is to draw the next circle now the next circle here is telling me if i move from this center forward by a distance of 21 i'll get the next circle center here so i'll move from here to another center line this continues so i'll move a distance of 21 from this point
So this is 20 and this is 21 here. Right? So I'll get the center of the next circle. So that's the center there. So I'll draw my center line at that point. Make sure it is the center point. Long, short, long, short. Right? Long, short. So I'll draw the circle there. So the diameter of the circle is 16, so I'll use 8 to draw. So measuring it on my meter rule, it will. So we'll come here and uh, do the to the help of the compass. To help of the compass. That will have there. Now the next one is if I move twenty five step forward again, as in distance of twenty five again from this point forward, I'll be having the other circle. So I'll move distance of twenty five again. So from here we move twenty five. This is twenty five here, right? Is 10 25, so that will be another center point. So I will need to put the center point here. So from that point, the diameter of the circle is 20. So I'm going to measure 10 on my meter, which will be the radius for me to draw that circle. So this is 10 here, right? So I'll place it at this point. Then I'll just draw my circle. So this is what we have here. Right, so we successfully brought out those shapes out from this figure here. Now the next thing you do is for you to do your dimension, which is also very important. You just dimension just like you saw in the video, and you'll be having things like this. Now we have done the dimensioning, as you can see. But what you should notice in the dimensioning is this. The lines of the dimension are not touching your figure. You can see there are spaces in between, right? And your figures are not touching, are not on the line. They are just a little bit above the line. These are the things you should take into consideration. All good now. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to like. Thanks for watching.